it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? It's Craft Farms here with another video and today we are back on Dad's farm. So, I know that I said there wouldn't be any videos while I was at camp. Well, today is Sunday. I leave tomorrow. I have a little bit of time, so what I'm going to attempt to do is try and get three videos recorded. One for Tuesday, one for Thursday, one for Saturday. Uh, I'm going to be pushing it to the max to try and get these out. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe I'll only get two, maybe I'll possibly get three maybe i'll only get one we'll see what happens so i want to start off i uh, gotta show you guys this we have a three hundred thousand dollar loan uh we're still in the red but that's because we made some purchases and i will show you those in just a moment we bought two peterbilt uh what are they 579s um this is done by tex 57 modding and mapping uh, there is a public version of this truck out, but that is not this version. Uh, this one is not released. Uh, we have two of them. We have a black one here for running the hopper trailer. And then we also have a nice light blue one here to run the uh, tender trailer. So we're going to get our crew rolling again. And I think I'll turn that up more. Um, let's get this guy rolling again. Oops, not too. That's not even roller either. There we go. Okay, we'll get that guy going. We want him to use this four wheel drive. Uh, this guy's waiting. We need to get this guy going again. Get two sprayer. He is putting down herbicide CC, which is our second herbicide of our um, wheat. And we are still working on the wheat currently. Uh, we're just about done, though. So that is very good. So we'll get uh, cracking again here on this. Uh, so you guys have uh, put in your word. We will be buying. I will show you. We will. Ew, I just licked my mic. <laughs> we will be buying this '85 Chevy Dually truck, and we will also be doing beef. Um, we will not be doing any of that until after harvest, obviously, uh, because. They do not have any money. Um, the $300,000 loan that I took out was probably more than needed, but um, I wanted to change the trucks up because I've used those Freightliners since they came out because they were like the only good truck that I had, but now I've got uh, the 579, so I'm going to use the heck out of that. Um, like I said, there is a version released it's on Tex57 Modding and Mapping on Facebook. It has a page, not a group, so you don't have to sit and beg me to add you to the group. You just go to your search bar on Facebook and type in Tex57 Modding and Mapping, and you'll find it. And you just hit the like button, and that's all there is to it. Um, I don't know what that version's like. I never downloaded it because he had told me in a message that he would be sending a good version out to me and a few other people very soon so I just waited patiently for that and he sent it uh, a few days ago um, also uh, the uh, thing involving this tractor uh, selling trading it in on a different tractor uh, we are not going to do that a lot of people said keep the John Deere which, fine by me, uh, John Deere pulling a John Deere makes a lot more sense than a uh, cat pulling a John Deere. I didn't turn the cedar off, oh well. So as you can see, we're just about done planting wheat. We're just about done with the rolling. And uh, fertilizing and spraying will not take very long. 
so we are going to be getting that all done. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be recording three episodes. I'm going to be recording them one after another. So you guys will see a lot of planting and stuff. Um, hopefully finishing the planting. Uh, either this video or next video. Hopefully it doesn't last all three videos, but never know. Um, hopefully I can get three recorded for you guys and get them out. Uh, that's the best thing about the YouTube schedule feature is I can upload them all three right now and have them go out three different days at two different times. So that is very, very good. See, so yeah, like I said, I leave for camp tomorrow. We get on the bus about 2.30. Um, and I gotta... I'm doing laundry right now. Um, getting that stuff done so that way I have a bunch of clean clothes uh, because hamper was full and dresser drawers are starting to get empty uh, especially on the jeans and socks uh, and all that stuff why are you slipping oh of course I did not do enough headlamps dang it I keep forgetting about these stupid poles I need to remember to do two headlamps rather than one Actually, I'm going to take this stupid steering knob off of here. Um, we'll hop back into our planter. I'm going to get this stupid knob taken off, so that way it does not keep hitting my headset cord. Oh, that's way too big a stupid. turned around then we got a nice long pass ahead of us that uh, I can get this stupid steering knob off. Okay, I'm gonna disappear from the webcam for a second. Um, I'll get this thing off. Whoa! Screw just about fell on the floor. That would have been a mess to find. My floor is carpet, so um, you know, I remember just now uh, I had talked about doing a farm toy video for Saturday, so I might. Oh crap, that one fell. Uh, I might actually just record two videos, and then the third video will be that uh, farm toy update. Uh, I have to clean my room up first because I have a mess in it from unpacking one bag from the trip to the state fair and then now I have to pack another bag for camp so plus I have to pack stuff for taking with for the weekend after camp because I'll be going to my dad's so it'll be a crazy crazy week see it is Sunday today like I said uh, getting this stuff recorded so that way you guys can have some content um, since I have some free time while the laundry goes so look at that done before we even hit the end of the field Yeah, it's uh, taken a long time to plant all this wheat. Uh, hopefully the corn goes a lot faster, but I doubt it will. Or corn and beans, I guess I should say, but I doubt they'll take or take less time, so such is life, I guess.
Uh, actually, I had troubles with this save game yesterday when I got home. Uh, I was going to try and I was going to do the truck switch and then see if I could get an episode recorded uh, before I left to go to my graduation party. And the save game for this map didn't exist. And this map didn't exist in the game. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I was like, well, what the heck's going on here? And uh, I don't know, maybe some of you guys know this, maybe some of you don't. I use Mod Manager uh, because I had tr downloaded it to try it out, but I cannot figure out how to delete the stupid thing without it, you know, like when I go to uninstall it, all of my mods are still like like my all my mods aren't in game anymore i have no mods whatsoever and it is a big big pain <coughs> and um it's just it's really annoying because i would like to get rid of it but at the same time i like it because it's nice i can have all of my mods in my mods folder but like you know like damage mod I can deactivate that because like this map doesn't have damage mod I could enable it though because my fuel trailer over there uh, that actually is scripted to work with damage mod uh, it uses the scripting off of the Thunder Creek trailer uh, that Joe Lindbergh converted over uh, from 13 so you know I just basically took the Thunder Creek visual model and deleted it and then just replaced it with my model and then changed uh, all the XML stuff to go and say Meridian rather than Thunder Creek. And also added the store category script to it so that way it goes to my store category rather than into like MISC or anything like that. Um, so yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Um, I probably should have refilled, but I didn't use much seed coming down. Maybe it'll last us the rest of the field. I doubt it, though. So we'll just put a little bit in and uh, go from there. Uh, the reason that we're 17000 under is because paying for rent on that uh, GMC truck and then also... Um, buying the seed, buying the chemical. Uh, I've had to make a couple of trips to the farm. And then also uh, just other reasons, I guess. I don't know why. But uh, I suppose probably vehicle maintenance as well. That's probably, you know, probably another thing that's uh, taking our money down a ways. So yeah, I probably won't be able to reply to your guys' comments though. Uh, there is no Wi-Fi at camp. Um, well, there is, but it's just for like the counselors to use uh, for the computer in the main building. Uh, so that way they can bring up their presentations and can play music at night uh, during the dances and stuff. But uh, there also isn't very good service out there because uh, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, really. So, you know, there's not that great a service. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to, you know, get good service. But at times it's good. So, you know, maybe I'll get to reply to comments. It probably won't be right away. Uh, and when I do, it'll be late at night because, you know, we can only have our phones at night in the dorm when we're, you know, laying in bed so but that's fine because there's a lot of other fun stuff to do so it's no biggie so I've gone 46 passes to do this field or to do I don't know if that's just this field or all the fields that's got to be just this field, because 46 passes, that ain't enough to do both of these fields. Or all four of these fields, I should say.
nice uh, sunset right there. Oh, and the roller is done. We need to stop that guy. Let's see, what other field do we have to do? We gotta do that field right there, and that is field seven. Southwest, north, headland. Put him back into uh, transport mode because that's the only way that this thing will actually run on course play. Uh, because of the fact that it doesn't actually have a fill type or a fill level. So you can't use it as like a sprayer or anything. Can't do field work, so. Doesn't quite uh, work. But it uh, gets the job done in transport mode. You can see that the uh, turns are taken too fast, so the roller kind of flies around, but. Long as the ground gets a uh, somewhat good covering, then uh, I'm all right. We're just about done with this field here, but we got to go refill from the truck. So we will go do that now. <clears throat> Not entirely sure how full. Oh, 33% full. Okay, that answers that question. I was just going to say, I wonder how full the trailer is, but uh, that answers my question. So yeah, the uh, Peterbilt here, that is a ATS conversion uh, that Tex did and has put a lot of work into. And it uh, looks very, very, very nice and it runs really good. Uh, it does have dirt, but only on the uh, main chassis here, the blue part, really. Um, I might go back in and edit it some and add some more dirt to it. Uh, but I don't know for sure. I think that's something that Tex is, Tex is going to be working on soon. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll start it. You guys can hear it. It does not have a horn. Uh, this is a work in progress yet, so can't uh, be too picky. I need to switch this to CC and get it rolling again. So you can see our PK is still sitting on the ground here. Um, so yeah, once the spreader and sprayer are done, then, well, I guess I should say once the sprayer is done, we will be able to uh, move on to the next day and then get our corn and beans start or our beans started. Corn won't start for a little while yet. Uh, but the beans will start uh, very soon. Uh, the rate we're going, we should be done maybe at the end of this episode, if not uh, partial part of the next episode will be a uh, of more planting wheat. Um, it'd be nice if I didn't have to continually stop and you know fix course play, but if I wasn't using course play, then I would have a lot more work to do. Need to unplug this. <sighs> Yeah, I might uh, try and get some pictures and stuff. Or not pictures, uh, some video at camp. Uh, but I don't know if I will. Maybe at the talent show. Uh, that's when we can take our phones out and we can do some pictures and videos and stuff. Uh, I'm actually planning to be in the talent show. Uh, me and my buddy. Uh, we are going to do, uh, we're going to try and get two other guys together and do the uh, Highwayman song. Uh, I think that would be really fun to do. And my buddy likes singing and I enjoy it. It's fun. And so 
yeah, so we're going to try and get some other guys together and possibly do that. Uh, otherwise, we're going to just do a different song where it's kind of a duet kind of thing. Um, but there's a lot of cool stuff in the talent show usually. Um, sometimes it's kind of boring stuff, but I remember they don't do this anymore, sadly. But m the first probably three or four years that I went to camp, uh, there was always somebody in the talent show that would do a thing where you know you have two chairs, one here, one here, and you're both facing each other. And they'd have somebody, the group would have somebody from the, you know, audience uh, come out and, uh, or volunteer to come up and, you know, be a part of this act. And then what you do is you gotta, you sit on your chair first and then you mimic them, whatever they do. And um, in the end, when you go to sit down, Another person has taken a washcloth and completely soaked it with water and set it on the chair. So that way, when you sit down, you sit right on the washcloth. That was always so funny. Um, you know, I learned my first year, you don't volunteer for anything. Um, but, yeah, it's always fun at camp. Uh, there's, a, It's always, you know, it seems like a week is not long enough uh, to, you know do everything it seems uh, they got a rock wall they got mini golf uh, they got all sorts of stuff and it's just a lot a lot of fun all right so we're good to go we can plant now <laughs> don't have to worry about anybody else but uh yeah it's a lot of fun uh the theme nights this year they always have theme nights um actually when you you know there's two series series of camps uh, there's junior camp and senior camp so you know here I don't know what it's like in other states but here what you can do is when you turn eight that's when you're able to go and you go to junior camp until you know you're 11 or you know the year that you're going to turn 12 but you turn 12 after camp or whatever um, so it's basically like 8 12 I'll say and then that's, it's three days, or no, three nights and four days for the junior camp. But then when you become 12 and can go to senior camp, that's four nights and five days. Uh, and then it's two theme nights rather than just one, uh, like the junior camp. So this year the theme nights are, the first one is, I gotta look again. My mom had forwarded me the email that said uh, what it is. Um, they are movie character night and game night. Uh, so I figured out what I'm doing for the movie character. Uh, well, somewhat. Uh, it's really not a character. It's just an actor. Um, I'm going to do John Wayne, um, or I suppose, I also, I just bought A Fistful of Dollars, uh, it's a Clint Eastwood movie, uh, I had a, at my graduation party, somebody gave me a gift card for iTunes, so I spent it on, um, I bought A Fistful of Dollars, and then I bought True Grit, but I bought the wrong one. I wanted to buy the one with John Wayne, and I forgot that there was two movies, uh, you know, the original one and then the one that they did in 2010, and I got the one in 2010, and uh, didn't even look at it, because I didn't remember that there was two, so I'm thinking, you know, just the one movie, and, you know, that's it. Oh, boy, was I wrong. Uh, so I wasted $15 on the wrong movie, but, oh, well, I guess I'll still watch it, and I'll just save up for another gift card and buy the one that I wanted in the first place but um, yeah and then they have a costume room at camp so I'm just gonna go in there for the game night because uh, I don't know what the heck to do for that one
I've seen some people do like Mario and Luigi and stuff like that, but I don't know. I want to be more regional than that, I guess. Actually, we just now have 12% seed. I forget that uh, this right here is because when I fill the seed, it only is 50% because this also fills with fertilizer. Uh, so if you fill both of those, then you're 100% full. And I forgot all about that. So we are at 12% full right now. Or 11%, I should say. It shows the exact amount, but it just shows the wrong percentage. So maybe we'll be able to finish. We don't have a whole lot. And we take about 2% a pass, so... We can do another 5 passes or so. Don't know, I guess we'll find out. We shall find out. Yeah, this is actually like the longest I've ever done a series for you guys. Uh, I apologize for that, for always jumping around between maps, but... You know, there's just no maps out that fit what I want in a map, and... So it's kind of annoying that, you know... Get all these maps, but none of them are exactly the way I want, so then I gotta sit and find another one, and find another, and whatnot, and... Uh... My papa was actually at my graduation party, and so I said, you know, asked him if he was planning to go to the farm in a couple weeks, and said if he is, let me know, because I want to get down there and get those pictures taken that I was telling you about, and he said, yeah, we can do that, so hopefully he's going down in the next couple weeks, um, you know, the week after I get back to camp is what I'm thinking. So hopefully we can do that and then I can get started on the buildings uh, for my map and then also get started on uh, more fields and get, uh, get that done and I still got to do the fields, uh, there's rock piles in a lot of fields, get the trees done, all that good stuff. Still got a lot of work left but uh, there's a lot of fine tuning yet in other places and Got to make some changes to a couple buildings, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, we'll get there and... We'll get there. Uh, yeah, it's like I said, you know, since I don't have pictures yet, uh, really not too worried about getting a whole bunch done, but I also don't want to just completely quit on it and just let it sit empty or not empty but you know let it sit doing nothing for quite a while I don't want to do that see our nutrients are looking really really good uh, we could use some lime but um, that requires getting another a different spreader we'd have to get the DN 345 because uh, unfortunately our spreader and our sprayer will not do lime um, unless it's just because that trailer that we're using doesn't have lime I don't know I have to check that out um, you know the tender trailers only have NPK they don't you know you can't just like select your other uh, spray types so we are going to have to refill. Hopefully we can make it all the way back up to the truck on our uh, 3%. Uh, we won't need to put a whole lot into it. Uh, just enough to finish off this field. Uh, looks like if we do make it up there, it's going to be very, very close. We've got about another, I'll say, 4 to 8 passes. That's what I'm going to guess. Four to eight passes, yeah. That's what I'm going with. Yeah, that's probably sounding about right. Um, we are at... We got about... Oh, just a few more seconds left. 
So it looks like we will finish this off in the next video. Uh, what I'm going to do before I start the next video is finish off this pass, get, uh, get the cedar filled up, and then uh, I'll do a couple more passes so that way uh, when we finish that we will be... Um, that way when we finish, that way when I start the video we'll finish off the uh, wheat or something like that. So here we are, we are empty now. So I'm gonna run up and fill this planter. Um, as always guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. And uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe. Uh, and if you are subscribed already or are planning to subscribe, make sure you turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, my video schedule is Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Central Time and Saturday is at noon Central. Uh, make sure that you check out down below in the description for my PC specs, links to all my social medias, as well as links to some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next